Ow. You really want to get married? Why is that so hard to believe? It's, uh, it's not hard to believe, honey. I'm just thinking about you and, and what about your career and your Hollywood's hottest bachelor. <laughs> Stop That's it. why your movies do so well. Ouch. I thought people came to see my performances. They do. They not because do. they were interested in my personal life. That is why. That Did is, you have to go there? That is why. I'm just saying that, you know, America likes to think of you as single. Trust me, women like to think of you as single. Okay, but there's nothing bigger than a celebrity wedding. Oh. Okay, I got you. You want a publicity stunt? Uh, no. Babe, you want no, a no, no, picture no, no, no. of us getting okay, I mean, stop. you don't need publicity stop. stunts uh, if it works good. This is going so terribly wrong right now. I'm sorry. There should be candles and champagne. Well, we have champagne. No, no. I should be down on one knee. Oh, uh, what am I doing? Yes. No, 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 I'm sorry. Honey, what did you do? Don't get in here. What are you? What's wrong with you? Honey, you may think this is sudden, but it's not. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a long time. I have. I share my life with you. I want you to marry me. You know, for as many times as I've proposed on screen, you would think I'd have this down cold. <laughs> it's not how you ask. Oh, come on. This is like the worst proposal ever. No build up, no romance. I'll take sweet and sincere any day, and you're both of those things. You know, honey, it's just. <laughs> marriage I hadn't really figured it into my plans well I hadn't figured it either until we started dating and then I realized how much I looked forward to seeing you and how disappointed I was when I couldn't and here we are um oh no oh gosh what? well you know I just took this new job and I mean it's so busy, dizzy, I and mean, be in a different city every week at this new job, and then there's Paris your crazy long. schedule, and then, I mean, how would we make a marriage work when we're never even on the same continent? I will drop out of the movie. What are you talking about? You can't drop out of that movie for me. What are you saying? Look, I have done harder things to get where I'm at right now. Look, it's a good life, but it hasn't come without a price. Brenda, the only time I am not lonely is when I'm with you, which might seem really weird because I'm never actually really totally alone. <laughs> it's not weird. I'm never but, alone either. But you know all these people that we're surrounded by all the time? They just want a piece of our brilliant lives and our fame went away. You think they'd still be around? Well, if we were married, then we would always have each other. It's so adorable. You are adorable and convincing. Well, is that a yes? You mean so much to me. I feel a butt coming on here. But? Ah, uh, there it is. Come here, let's sit down. Come on. I... I think that you should be with somebody who really loves you, you know, from the bottom of their heart. And it's, it's, it's not you. I mean, if, if it's me, I, I don't really do that with anyone. And, and if you married me, you'd be settling for someone who understands, who just understands but you. maybe that's enough. No, that's not enough. That's not enough for you. Huh? I mean, uh, love should be, you know, someone who can't stop looking at you, ever. Well, I can get that anytime I want. Just ask my agent. I don't <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I, I think we should take, just, let's just take a beat. Let's just, okay. let's just, I love spending time with you so much. I love just, I, you know how much I love going to premieres with you. It's, it's my passion. <laughs> yeah, I, <know. laughs> I, I, I do. Well, you'll never go to a premiere so alone. Yeah. It's, as I, many as you want to go. I love, God, I love talking.
talking to you and getting drunk with you. Let's do that now. Perfect package. Perfect woman here. Thank you. Mm. See, you're so amazing because you care more about what is right for me than what being married to me could do for your career. I mean, everyone else around me is so superficial. Oh, gosh. I, um... I'm not as selfless as you think I am. No. I have an enormous ego. I was left at the altar three times. Three. And I don't really want to be left a fourth time. Not even by you. Three men left you at the altar. Uh, well, two, actually. One of them was a repeat offender. Um, okay, so was he uh, just blind or plain stupid? Well, I'm the one who said yes to marrying him twice, so what does that make me? Optimistic. I mean, always see the best in people. Some would say I bring out the worst in people. Well, I doubt that very much. So tell me about this repeat offender. Um, Jax. Jasper Jax. I'm sure hmm. you know him. Yes, he is the money guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, we were having our beautiful wedding, and my ex showed up with Jax's wife. Jax had actually thought that she had passed away. Wait, you're serious? Mm. Yes, sounds like an insane sitcom season finale, but that's actually what my life is like quite a lot of the time. Wow. And that was the end of my wedding to Jax. So, your ex, the guy who ruined the wedding, he eventually got what he wanted, right? You went back down. Yes. He got what he wanted. But it didn't last. So he's the other joker who left you at the altar? Well, actually, he couldn't be bothered to leave me at the altar. So he sent his best friend to deliver the news to me. So he ended up back with Jax, and we went to say our vows, and I said I do, and Jax said I don't, after he found out that I would kissed Sonny the night before our wedding. Jax didn't think that was very romantic. Mm, that's so, much. so, you see, I'm uh, not a great bet. Love him. 